Okay, Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, why, Colin. Why, why, why are good people being prejudiced against for speaking their opinion? Will nobody think of the opinion spouters, Colin? Do you know who I feel sorry for? Who? The right-wing newspaper columnists. Right. They have a tight deadline, which Workshire Ramonas wouldn't have the first idea about. So how are they supposed to know that what they're saying is either borderline racist or offensive or ill thought through? Well, 750 words is a lot of space to fill an hour before it's due, Colin. These poor men have been so disadvantaged by their privileged insular backgrounds, it ain't fair. Mm. They're often too hard working to stop and notice that what they're saying looked out of place in 1976, let alone today. Mm. It's not their fault they're old and white. Exactly, Colin. They're victims of their own work ethic. And the left come along and say, oh, stop and listen to the room. They yeah. can't help that their voices are so loud they drown out the room. Nor is it their fault, Colin, that their humour is basically bullying but with clever wordplay. I'll say this to the offended party. If you feel so upset about it, why don't you take mm. a prominent column in a newspaper read by millions and fight back? But oh no, they won't do that, will they? They, they can't be bothered, can they, Colin? They can't be it's bothered. It's easy to virtue signal and mope all day, but you try writing something designed to sell newspapers and it not be mm. offensive. It's impossible. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. It's Game of Thrones, you snowflakes. What's wrong with dragons and tits?